two episodes in, one wilderness weapon down. We're making some red hot progress here, fellas. We managed to snag the scepter in the last episode. Now we just have to get the bow and the mace. But boys, I think these ones are gonna be quite tough. Let's get it boys, episode 3, starting it off with a skull crossbow. Not only are these players really difficult to find who are willing to skull up with their wilderness weapons, they hit so hard. So I think the best course of action to try and smite these crossbows is to flick smite. Unfortunately, no dice. Ooh, straight up, boys, straight up. Oh, no, you're joking. Come on, come on. That's the way. Possibly anti pk -er. Fucking idiots go on multi. So this mission can be quite risky at times. As you saw in the previous episode, I almost lost my void to a bait. And I believe this player here has an item in his inventory that could take me out of the game if he executes his bait correctly. Personally, I'd rather try and kill the bait than just to let it be and never know what could have been the outcome of the situation. Because as you can see, at the end of the day, he is sculled with a crossbow. There's always a chance of smiting them. So we successfully kill the bait with a nice Gmall spec and we open up the loot key and what does he have? The dreaded dragon spear. Okay, so in the last three episodes we've stuck to the Rev Caves and I've been mainly hunting in the south portion of it. The top section, the northern section seems to have some very high level players and the higher the player, the higher their prey level, the higher their defense level, the more difficult it is for me to smite them. That's why I keep away from the northern section. That being said, I did say at the start of the series that this was not restricted to the Rev Caves. This is wilderness wide. The reason I said that is because I do have another method to obtain these weapons from other players, but I will not be ripping that method out as of yet. That is a backup plan for when times get tough. So I'm asking you guys, the viewers, we're in this together. We're a team here. If you guys have any ideas, any methods that you'd like to share, you'd like me to try, which will assist in the obtaining of the wilderness weapons from other players in the wilderness, Feel free to share them, drop them in the comments. Suggestions that will assist me in this adventure are most welcome, fellas. Get him! All right, okay, okay. He's got a long way to run, boys. Could be in with a shot here. That damn granite shield, oh my god. So strong. Oh man. Oh, was that a smite? Was that smited? Fuck. Come on, dog. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Am I going to be able to hit this one? Because the last one, I'll tell you right now, I just could not hit him. Look him up. 
46 defense shouldn't be a problem. It's got to work him, you know. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, magic. Come on, everything. It's not. I'm, I can't hit him. Yes, the chaps catch. That's what I call that. What the fuck? Auto prayer? Auto prayer. Is this a bot? There's no way. Man, I should have been hitting like that at the start. A level 100, almost max med, wanted to dance. Now, I wasn't gonna skull up here. The risk of getting KO'd is a bit too high against these builds. If I was sculled already, I really wouldn't have cared, but I'm not gonna go out of my way just to skull for a level 100 med level who's probably gonna kill me. So my man starts tossing insults, and to be honest with you boys, I don't have a clue what he's talking about, but he attacks me here, and we get to work. So early on in the fight, we start working this man and we're doing exceptionally well. I didn't even expect to do this well against this man. He has 75 defense plus rigor, augury, piety, the lot. What baffles me is previously I couldn't even put a scratch on a player with 60 defense who had a granite shield. It's funny how the game works, isn't it fellas? So we're making him eat his words at this point, but unfortunately, I don't know why I must have forgotten to TB and he just ends up running away. Now that Bounty Hunter's been released, there seems to be quite an influx of skulled crossbows running around the Rev Caves. Here we have an Iron Man who is at risk of losing his crossbow. Now I tell you boys, he does not want to lose that. That's an awful grind to have to get it back. Iron Man or not, no mercy will be shown on this day, my friend. Bolt to the back of the head for a 27 for the KO. There goes your black mask, my friend. Back to cave horrors for you. 
and also possibly back to Nightmare Zone. Fuck, that's rough. I don't know how these Iron Men do it. Episode 3, done and dusted. With the influx of Skull players in the Rev Caves, I can almost taste that crossbow. We're getting real close, fellas. And in terms of the mace, I'm not too sure about that one. <laughs>